DJ saxophone is such a cool playing style and it's something that we're digging into with our members inside Sax School this month. But today I thought what we could do, it's gonna be quite fun actually, we're gonna look at the four biggest stars for DJ sax on YouTube. Jimmy Sax, Sandy Sax, Yarden Saxophone and lovely Laura. They're all amazing players and what we're gonna do is look at a specific uh, video or solo by them and then learn a little melody idea or a lick or I like to call them building blocks. Now this is a really great way to start learning this new style and it's also a fantastic way to challenge yourself to learn something new. Oh, I've got a free PDF for you today too, so there's loads to talk about, let's get stuck in. G'day, it's Nigel from Saxkill. Hey, thanks so much for joining me for another one of these videos. Now, if it's our first time meeting, if you're new here, then consider subscribing to the channel because I'm making videos all the time. That way you'll find out about the new things that are coming out. And also, right out the gate, go grab the free PDF for today's uh, session. We keep all of the free PDFs inside our locker and you can register for that from the courses page of our website or check out the link in the description down below. <laughs> Hey, just before we get started learning these building blocks, you might be thinking why are we even using this approach to learn DJ sax? It's a good question. The thing is, when we're learning a new style of music, there, there really is a lot to learn, right? From the harmonic approach, to the history of that style, to understanding the form of the music and the way we can play uh, along with the track to get the most emotion out of our playing, what scales we need to use, there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, if you want to dig more into this, by the way, there's a really great video on our channel by Jason Whitmore. He's a fantastic DJ sax artist from California. I'll put the link up here. And uh, he digs into all of those aspects of DJ sax. And if you want to take it even further, Jason's done a full masterclass inside the sax school member area where we really go deep into this topic. And uh, we've got a bunch of other resources for DJ sax in there too. If you're interested, there's a 14-day trial uh, available. There's a link down below. But building blocks are a great way to dip our toe in the water really with a new style because it allows us to really quickly and easily play an element of that style that sounds authentic. And I like these because this can then be kind of like a springboard for your solo, right? So you can start, you can use it as a starting point for exploring this style uh, and creating solos that sound authentic because you're starting from a little musical nugget that actually works. And that's why I think building blocks are a really great way to start exploring a new style. Okay, let's get stuck in with our first track. The first saxophone player I want to dig into is a great sax player from Israel called Yarden. So Yarden Saxophone, she's got a great channel on YouTube and there's some really excellent videos on there, but I really like this one. It's called Sax Deep House Live. It's been viewed like four million times, right? But there's a cool line that she plays at about two minutes 48. Check this out. Okay, here's what this line looks like. So on the alto saxophone, this is in the key of B minor, or it's E minor for the tenor saxophone, but this whole line really just uses the first five notes of the B minor scale. So it's actually really easy from a note point of view. And in fact, the whole of her solo is pretty much based on those five notes and the five notes of a B minor pentatonic, or an E minor pentatonic for the tenor sax. But the thing that's most interesting about this little section of her solo is that Yarden uses this line as a bit of a launch pad for the rest of her solo. So she plays that line and then she builds from it and expands into new ideas. So have a go at learning this line, grab, like grab the PDF and go ahead and learn it, and then go play along with Yarden and see if you can come up with your own lines that are also based on this. <laughs> The next line is from the No Man No Cry track by Jimmy Sax. I mean, you must have heard this, right? Because it's been played on YouTube like 158 million times. 
I really like the way Jim Rowland plays. I think he's a fantastic player. What he's doing is actually quite simple, but the reason it's so wonderful to listen to is because of the connection that he's got with the music when he's playing. So it's really, really interesting. Uh, on this particular track, I like a line that plays at about 1 minute 37. Check this out. And then he plays it again later up the octave at about 4 minutes 14. Check this out. Okay, here's what that line looks like. Or up the octave on the alto sax. Pretty cool. So this is in the same key as the Yarden lick that we've just looked at. It's in B minor for the alto or E minor for the tenor sax. Uh, but this this building block actually really only uses what three notes, right? The first three notes of the B minor scale, so B, C sharp, and D. Now throughout the whole solo, Jimmy's pretty much just using a B minor pentatonic or the E minor pentatonic on the tenor saxophone. So have a go at playing this lick now and play through that pentatonic scale and then go back and listen to the track and see if you can identify how he's using that pentatonic scale in his solo. Hey, just before we get on to the next building block, can I ask you a question? Could you let me know in a comment down below what's your favorite DJ sax track? Do you have one that you like to listen to? Let me know in a comment. <laughs> Now I really like the videos that Sandy Sax plays. So he's a French uh, DJ sax artist, great player too. He's got a bunch of amazing videos on his channel, but this particular one, it's a David Guetta remix of Love Tonight, is fantastic and like iconic DJ sax too because he's playing out on the boat and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and really popular, I think it's had like three and a half million views. Now all the way through this particular track, there's one line, a building line, that is actually really simple, but so powerful. Check this out. Okay, so this is what this line looks like. It sounds like this. And then it does it again. Just a little alteration at the end. So this one's in the key of A minor on the alto or D minor on the tenor sax. And it's such a simple line, it really just ascends up through the scale, but really, really powerful. Now it looks a little bit complicated when you look at the rhythm of it, but it's much easier if you focus on the note that lands on beat one, and the note that lands on beat three. And if you use those two notes as your anchors as you play through this line, then it's much easier. Now this is a real banger of a track. It's got a fantastic rhythmical groove going on in there. And the line that Sandy plays is pretty much all that he does throughout the whole track. So he's using that line and then he's using some notes from that line to make some other filling parts in the, in the solo. So the next step for you really is to get comfy with that line and then try playing it along with Sandy in the video, and then try exploring where you can go from that line by using the notes in that line and listening really closely to that track to see if you can play things that fit in with the groove of the track, use those notes, and sound super cool. You have to imagine that you're standing on the front of that boat too. Have some fun with it. Our last track is by a fantastic UK-based DJ sax artist called Lovely Laura. So Laura Fowles, there's a bunch of fantastic videos of her on YouTube performing in Ibiza. And this particular one's from a few years back, like 2015, where she's doing a live performance of uh, the track Jubel by Klingand. I mean, it's an iconic track and she really gets going with this. What I really like though about this solo, because there's a bunch of excellent elements in this solo, but there's one particular part where she really digs in with a pentatonic pattern. And these patterns are so useful, particularly in this style. So check it out, I think it's about 1 minute 46. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> Sure. 
Okay, this is what that line sounds like if I slow it right down. Okay, sounds like this. So it sounds complicated, but pretty much this line is purely based on a pentatonic scale. Now, I have to say, it's in a bit of a horrible key. So on the alto saxophone, we're in the key of D flat major. So on the tenor sax, it's not much better. It's like F sharp major. But it is just a pentatonic scale, right? So five notes. So on the alto saxophone, And all we're doing is using a four note pattern of a five note scale. And then we end the line with that lovely ascending line and the grace notes really make this work. Now this is definitely a line that you need to take a few minutes to get your fingers around, start really slowly with your metronome, and get comfortable with that pentatonic scale, that pentatonic pattern, and see what you can come up with. And then see if you can fit your line playing along with Laura on that video. That way you can capture the energy that she's got in her performance, which is, which is fantastic. And then, you know, you can explore from there because all the rest of her solo is pretty much based on that pentatonic scale. So see what else you can come up with using that pentatonic scale and that lick or that building block as a starting point. So there you have four killer DJ sax licks. So your next steps now is to really dig into these, grab the free PDF, make sure you learn these licks or these building blocks, and then really important is that you play them along with those original videos to capture the energy and the feel and the vibe. And then don't forget you can use these as a launch pad to explore the rest of the track to make up your own solos using those notes and those rhythms. Now, of course, there's so much more to explore with DJ Sax, and if you want to dig into it more, then grab the 14-day trial. There's a link in the description down below, or you can go to the courses page of saxschoolonline.com. Sign up for the 14-day trial. You'll be able to check out that full masterclass by Jason Whitmore, plus all the other DJ Sax resources we have, and over a thousand other lessons and courses to help you really dig into your saxophone and get your playing moving forward. Most importantly, though, keep having some fun with your saxophone, and uh, explore the other stuff on our channel here. I'll catch you next time. Hey, here's a great video that you can go and check out next. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, then click here and go and subscribe so you know about the new videos. All right, go on, click the button. I'll catch you next time.